The Game Ready Driver 581.42 focuses on supporting new titles and fixing existing headaches, which is always the goal. We finally get support for DLSS 4 technology in Battlefield 6 and the FBC Firebreak update. The list of official fixes looks promising. NVIDIA claims they addressed the increased GPU crashing in Battlefield 20042 when calling a specific function. They also fixed the light flickering on RTX 50 series cards when playing Forza Horizon 4. The driver resolved crashes in Planet Coaster 2 and the stuttering affecting games built on the Godot engine. They also fixed the significant FPS drops when using smooth motion alongside a Riva Tuner FPS cap. Users reported that the annoying ghosting artifacts in Assassin's Creed Shadows disappeared with a specific DLSS setting. That all sounds good on paper, but the actual results are often mixed. The issues continue for many of us, though. Even with the official Battlefield 20042 fix, some users still report immediate crashes in the main menu. NVIDIA admits two issues remain officially open, text appearing slightly distorted in Counter-Strike 2 at lower resolutions, a fix they expect in the next driver branch, likely 585 later this year. Light flickering also still persists in Like a Dragon, infinite wealth on certain system configurations. Worse, the user reported problems on the new RTX 50 series cards show a worrying pattern. Players, especially those on the 5090, report Borderlands 4 crashing frequently. The Madden 26 crashes past 60 FPS are reportedly still unresolved for the 5000 series cards. We also see continued reports of intermittent black screens during gameplay. This often occurs when the GPU utilization is low, around 30 to 40 percent. Disabling hags or setting power management to prefer maximum performance often works, but those are temporary workarounds. This driver did not include a fix for dying light two-frame generation crashes on the 5080 card either. This situation feels so familiar. We get a driver focused on new game launches, but it misses crucial stability problems affecting the latest hardware, the cards you pay a premium for. While I appreciate the fixes for older titles like Forza, the community reports show the true state of things. Many users are dealing with new system-wide stuttering and slowness, especially within the NVIDIA app itself, often linked to switching from the older 580.88 driver. You hope a driver named 581.42 brings stability across the board, but for a significant number of people, the crashing and instability continue.